Hey there YouTube, it's Math Baller with a purchase video from Michelangelo's Flea Market. So I wanted to go there after the after I was very sure that the vendor would be there, you know, following this a lot of the closures from the health situation. So, you know, uh I went up there and uh I Facebook messaged Michelangelo's Flea Market, asked if that vendor was gonna be there, and they got back to me saying that he was planning to be there, so great. So I'm going to show you what I got from there. I got a total of 38 cards for only $25. And 25 of those cards are game used or autos. So I did very, very well. He's very good to his repeat customers. He's very fair with his pricing. And he did officially sell off his 10 cent, 25 cent bins, which he had been saying he would. So, uh, he pretty much just has a bunch of cards that are, I mean, some of them are still like 50 cents and whatnot. If they're in card savers, they're 50 cents each. But, uh, most of his cards are a dollar each. But if you get more, you know, make an offer or he'll come up with a deal too. So it's good. So let me go ahead and start here. I'm going to show you the 25 autographs and game used after I show you my six hockey cards and seven football cards, the ones that are not autos, not game used. But uh, I paid $25 total. So starting off here, we have a Ruslan Fedotenko rookie, and it's numbered to 900. Ruslan Fedotenko played for the Penguins, and he has been signing TTM. And that was my goal behind these cards that are just your traditional cards here, because I know Johan Hedberg had signed TTM at one point, so there's a... Very unique looking card there. And there's another Johan Hedberg. Moose was his nickname. We got a Jan Herdina that is numbered to 150. I don't know if Jan Herdina TTMs or not, but I saw that and thought that was pretty cool. Patrick Laleem. I don't know if he TTMs or not, but that's just a really cool card. Dang, he had to have been young in that. That's 1991-92. He was born in 74, so yeah, he was 16 or 17 or 18 years old. Well, 1991, so yeah, he was 16 or 17 years old in that picture. Dang, that's cool. Or at least when that card was made. And we got Jared McCann, who's a penguin. There's a numbered rookie number to 399. So yeah, think I'm going to think of it as I got 25 game used and auto cards for 25 bucks, and everything else was just kind of on the house based on his nice pricing. We got the Charlie Batch rookie, Black Diamond rookie. I took these out of their plastic holders and whatnot for the video, so it'd be a little bit less glare. Mm -hmm. You got a playoff contender rookie card. It's shaped like a football. That's pretty cool. Got James Ferrier, Bowman's best rookie. Frenchie Fuqua, member a famous play with the Immaculate Reception. Obviously, Franco Harris is the main one from that. Byron Leftwich, rookie. Moel De Moore does sign TTM. There's a numbered rookie, numbered to 500 in his senior bowl jersey. Bruce Van Dyke does sign TTM. Okay, on to the game used and autos. So there are, are six autographs and 19 autographs, or 19 game used. Uh, the autographs, there's only one of them that's on card. Like, that's clearly a sticker for Dallas Braden. But he had a nice little moment in baseball. So, um, yeah, I mean, of the game use, I do have some duels. I have some patches. I have a ticket stub. So, yeah, we're going to start off here with uh, Dallas Braden. Here's a duel of Johnny Damon with stripes on him. Not numbered, but still cool. We got a numbered Pedro Martinez. I guess numbered isn't that big of a deal anymore. Numbered to 175 because, you know, everything's numbered with the newer high-end stuff. I mean, it kind of ruins the whole number thing. But here we go. Daniel Norris. That's cool. He's overcome quite a bit here. A number to 759. Sticker auto. And on to the football. A lot of football here. We got Jason Campbell, numbered rookie. David Carr and his college uni, numbered to 225, and David Carr, auto. You know, I, whenever you have some quarterbacks who 
at least had a shot being really good. Maybe they just got stuck with a crappy team. You know, it's hard not to buy him. I don't know if Jimmy Clausen was really all that good. He might he was a bit overhyped. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got Tony Hunt. I believe he was a Penn Stater. Not that that means that much to me. But, you know, if it's not from Pitt, you know, Penn State would be like the next Big local university, though. Youngstown State's not too far away, but that's not really known for football. Kevin Kolb. That's pretty cool. We got a dual jersey and a football. It's numbered uh, 849. We got Byron Leftwich. Got multiple Byron Leftwich as he ended up playing for the Steelers as a backup. He was a starter, obviously, for the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Got a nice patch of Matt Leinart. Number to 500. That's a nice looking patch. Here's a Johnny Manziel rookie. Oh boy, what a egotistical individual. Donovic McNabb had a nice football career. There's uh, another Muel Day Moore. That would look amazing if I sent out to get autographed, but I don't think I will for that one. It's so shiny and they're so thick. There's another Muel Day Moore game used. And these are both were rookies. Here's the ticket stub. Authentic Super Bowl 40 ticket stub, Willie Parker. I do believe I already have this card, but still. For the price I was going to get, I wasn't going to say no to it. There's a Brady Quinn in his college uniform. And this would have been much more valuable back in the day. Christian Ponder, there's my on-card auto, number to 199. Another one of those quarterbacks who had some success, maybe at least at the college level. Oh boy, talk about some quarterbacks who had some success, but, well, didn't have it in the pros. Jamarcus Russell, that's his LSU jersey, I would imagine. And there's his Oakland jersey. D'Angelo Williams, real nice guy. Um, apparently did not enjoy his time with the Carolina Panthers as he, from what I understand, will not sign trading cards of him with that uniform. In person autographs, that is. And then we have Jameis Winston, a dual jersey, not numbered. So, All right, folks, and before I wrap that up on my way out, another person there had a bunch of top loaders. And he didn't have many more Ultra Pros left. They were $250 apiece, so I bought four packs because those are at a bit of a premium price right now. So, yeah, that's Michael Angelo's Flea Market, Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, a little bit north-ish of Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So I hope you enjoyed my video. Please feel free to give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.